Well, with fresh snow on the ground, can we find trails where we can responsibly go mushing while also maintaining good social distancing? In today's episode, we find out. During these uncertain times, we all have to be responsible and practice wise social distancing as we try to work remotely from home or, uh, or whatever else it is we need to do to kind of get through this really kind of unprecedented days. Um, here in Massachusetts, all non-essential businesses are closed. Um, I'm able to work from home. Um, I'm, I'm fortunate in that way. Um, but we are still allowed to go outside and do outdoor recreation as long as we practice wise social distancing. So of course the dogs still need exercise. We have snow on the ground. Um, I'm kind of fortunate because I have a lot of trails around here where there really isn't anybody else. So we're going to head out and we're going to do some dog sledding and we're going to do this in a wise way where I am intentionally selecting a place to go where I don't anticipate seeing anybody else. So, um, thanks for joining us today. I hope you're doing well, and let's go dog sled. Okay, ready? All right, let's go, hop up, up. Good dogs, good dogs, come on. G, yes, 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 come on, let's go. Come on. That's it. Come on. All right. So we've gotten out onto a trail where nobody else has been, which is what I intentionally chose today. I tend to do that anyway, but um, particularly now, where we really do have a responsibility to kind of maintain social distance. Um, I intentionally selected a trail where I knew I wouldn't see anybody. So you can kind of see the dogs are laboring a little bit, breaking trail in this kind of heavy, kind of mashed potato type of snow. But anyway, as we're out here, it makes me realize that Dog sledding has really taught me a lot of things about how to be healthy and sane. So I'm going to list those now. That's it. That's it. Good job. Huh. No, huh. Yes. Yes. Whoa. Okay, stop, stand. Right now, the dogs are excited because I've got them stopped right now but they've been really motivated because we have a set of turkey tracks in front of us and the dogs are finding the turkey tracks to be very exciting to follow. So sometimes you just gotta follow turkeys. Okay, ready, let's go. Good dogs. Oh, 
Okay, stand. Good. Good dogs, good stand. All right, ready? All right, let's go, hop up. There we go, come on. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Go home and have some breakfast. Good dogs. Thank you for all you do. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Massachusetts. Uh, today really was a very short run. The snow is kind of kind of soft and it's kind of like mashed potatoes. The dogs are pushing through it, um, but I don't want them to stress themselves. So we probably did just under two miles, um, which is still enough for them to get some exercise for the day. So uh, anyway, I really hope all of you are doing well during this very unpredictable time. And I hope you're able to get some time outside and get some fresh air and if you can, walk your dog. If you don't have a dog, walk somebody else's dog. But um, whatever you do, stay safe. Um, you know, respect each other, respect each other's space. Um, wash your hands. And uh, anyway, stay tuned. Um, we'll, we'll be continuing with some more episodes of Massachusetts. And so thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the trail.